What's up everyone? Today I wanted to break down a audio reactive generative mask that I created within Resolume. I want to show you guys the step-by-step -step process of how I created that so you can make some of your own and then we'll also break down a couple use cases on how you can use this in your own workflow. So to get started let's go ahead and grab a lines source grab that drop it in now if you'll note I do have it dropped into a 50 mask layer but if you do not um, have it in a um, masking layer feel free to go to the blend mode and switch it to 50 mask now from that point what we're gonna do is change it the amount down to two up the width a little bit and let's throw a polar collido onto this it's gonna give us a circular look and then throw a timeline on the position it's gonna keep a loop going so I mean already in itself we got a cool mask here that uh, I mean, you can find a lot of different use cases for I wanted to take it a step further though so as we can see in the example here it is more of a pixelation uh, it's the hexagon pixelation effect and I actually got this idea from looking at Ikshana's effect stack with the hexagon pixelation audio reactivity. I really like the effect stack. I like the hexagon look and I was wondering what this, what that would be like added onto um, a circular mask like we already have right here. So, you know, if you haven't watched this video, please go do that. It's a great effect stack. But to save us some time, you'll see here the settings that we have it on. I'm just gonna copy that, control, drag, and drop. And I'm gonna do that again with the edge detection. We'll drop there. And then one more time for the bright contrast, we will drag and drop that on there. Now, the, the bright contrast really just gives it the black and white salutes. So if I turn it off, you'll see there's a lot of grays in there. And that can add its own uh, masking. And in blending modes, you know, it kind of gives it a half blend. So there is some uniqueness to having the grays. I just really just wanted more of more of absolute, closer to absolute white and blacks here. So we'll control shift T to change that thumbnail for us. And then let's go over here and see how, how it's looking with the masking. So let's throw it out on there. Already, we're getting some really cool looks. You can see it jumping with my voice because earlier we had set it up to audio reactivity. As you can see here, it's bouncing a little bit. Edge detection as well. So there's a really cool way you can make one of your own audio reactive hexagon masks. I'm curious to see how you guys use this. One of the ways that I really like to use it is you know, just with a simple mask like this, especially if, you're, if you'll note here, we've gone over the grouping masking previously in other tutorials and live streams, but you can add other clips in here and get some really, really neat looks by using masking in, in groups together. So here's just a couple, um, you know, looks that we can get. The group collab popping off, of course fun to play around with and mix those together so yeah even if we aren't mixing with multiple layers or like using the grouping technique we could also just throw a feedback in there so there's many different you know feedbacks that i've been playing around with lately i really like this tracer one it is audio reactivity is audio reactive as well so yeah there's many use cases ways to use this if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out if you find a unique way to do it yourself you know, please inform us. We're all here to grow together. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. Cheers.